we will continue with conversions again we're focusing on the metric system we're going to look at mass and capacity so we'll take just one example of each for mass let's decide to look at milligrams and grams so we should know that 1000 milligrams is equivalent to one gram which means when I convert from milligram into grams, I ask myself, what did I do to 1,000 in order to make it a 1? So I say 1,000 divided by 1,000 gives me a 1. When I go in the opposite direction, I'm going from grams into milligrams. So I look at my 1 and my 1,000. I ask myself, what did I do to 1? in order to make it 1,000. So I say 1 times 1,000 gives me 1,000. So what we're saying is, when we go from milligrams into grams, we divide by 1,000. When we go from gram back into milligrams, I then multiply by a thousand. Under capacity, again, we'll just look at one example. We'll look at milliliters and liters. So we should know that 1,000 milliliters is equivalent to one liter. When I convert from milliliters into liters, I look at my 1,000 and I look at my one so i say what did i do to 1000 in order to get a one 1000 divided by 1000 gives me a one when i go in the opposite direction one becomes a thousand so i say one times 1000 equals 1000 so what we're saying is when we convert from milliliters into liters milliliters into liters we actually divide by a thousand when we convert from liters back into milliliters we multiply by a thousand so that's the metric system mass and capacity we're going to have a quick look at the imperial system so in our country we're using metric system Overseas, they're going to use the imperial system. Our focus will be on length, mass, and capacity. So under length, my conversion factor from my conversion table, it says one inch is equivalent to 2,54 centimeters which means when I convert from inches into centimeters, I multiply. When I convert from centimeter back into inches, 2,54 becomes a one. So I say 2,54 divided by itself gives me a one, which means when I convert from centimeter into inches, I divide. So if I were to take an example, Five centimeters, I want to convert it into inches. So I'm going from centimeter into inches. I go to my conversion factor. I decide the direction in which I'm going. So I'm moving from centimeter into inches. So I'm going in this direction. Centimeter into inches, which means I divide by 2,54 in order to convert into inches. So we're going to look at mass. Under mass, our conversion factor from our conversion table, it's one ounce is equivalent to 28,4 grams. So once again, I need to know how to apply this. When I convert from ounces into grams, you will notice that one is now 28,4. So you say one multiplied by 28,4 gives you 28,4, which means when I go from ounces into grams, I multiply. When I go in the opposite direction, 28,4 becomes a one. 
So I say 28,4 divided by itself gives me a 1, which means when I'm converting from grams into ounces, I then divide. Under capacity, we will look at pints and liters. So from my conversion table, one pint is equal to 0, 0,5682 liters. In other words, when converting from pints into liters, I multiply. When converting from liters back into pints, this number becomes a 1. So the only way that's possible is if we say this divided by itself giving me a 1. So when I convert from litre into pints, I then divide by 0, 0,5682.